Hello and welcome to how to create volumetric fog that is localized. So in here I've got uh, my game mimic that is currently in development and I've got this room here for our greenhouse room and I chose the room because it's got some light sources in here that it best shows this off. So volumetric fog is a setting you'll find in your exponential height fog actor. You just go down you'll find volumetric fog, turn it on and you can see the voxels that make up the volumetric fog light up with our light sources. Uh, but this is applied to the whole entire map. So you may not want this to apply absolutely everywhere. Um, you may want to control how much gets applied everywhere. Okay. So you've got a few settings first of all that we want to tweak before we continue. Um, we want to change the scattering distribution. So the scattering distribution, it handles how much light is scattered in different directions when it hits uh, the volume volumetric uh, fog uh, voxels. So if I increase the number up, it will scatter so much that it eventually comes to a, a single point and if I go this way go down you see it scatters and spreads out so much it becomes like thin okay but we can also type it in a number here too so if we minus three for example our volumetric fog points are now even tighter so very very little distribution and again, I can go into here and type in three in this one. And they are now very sc so scattered that it's scattering across like a large area of the map. You can see the sort of light bending around. It kind of looks kind of broken. So here we've got this going on here. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn it down enough so I don't see this volumetric fog. But also, um, still have it turned on. So if I go to fog density here, I can turn this down. And that will allow that to not work as we want it to. Because if I turn it up to maximum here, even 0 0.05, it still looks pretty good. Okay. So what we use is volumetric material. So I'm going to create a new material. And we'll do volumetric fog. And open this up. And the volumetric fog material we're going to make is really simple. All you're going to do is go into the material domain, change it from surface to volume. And you're going to see it now change to an albedo. There's a massive code if you want it to glow. Extinction and ambient occlusion. And what we're going to do is put in a color for the albedo. So we're going to go into here, plug that in. And we'll just choose a color. We'll choose like white, for example. And emissive, uh, not emissive, sorry, extinction, I'm going to put in a value of 1. Now you'll see an error saying volume materials must be using an additive blend mode. So just go to your blend mode where it says opaque and change that to additive. This is because it's being added on top of the scene that is underneath it. Now the preview is not going to show anything. That's totally fine. That's expected. And we'll save that. And what we'll do now is just drag in any shape. So let's drag in our cube here. And I'm going to give it that volumetric fog material. And you can see here now we've got a foggy sort of cube. And we can use this to sort of add volumetric fog in very specific areas. So if I want it just to affect just the floor of our scene, we can do. And you get this sort of low hanging fog effect, which is pretty neat. So if I were to push play here, you can see this in action. And you can see how like it's not foggy up here, but it's foggy down there. And I go down here, like that. Oh, I forgot to turn off the collision. I can walk on top of it. Hang on. <laughs> go in here. Let's change collision to have collision preset to no collision. There we go. Right, and let's go back up here again, push play. Okay, so I've got no fog up here, but if I go down here, we can now walk amongst the fog. So it's a really cool effect to add localized fog to a scene. Now, keep in mind, this only really works for boxy shapes. Um, for example, if I were to put in a big sphere instead, like this, and apply the same material to that, It'll still look cube-like. Now, the reason why it does that is because it's 
volumetric fog is handled by voxels, which are cube shaped. So you can't do anything round with it. There are ways around it, uh, which I can go through in another video, but just be aware that anything round won't come through as round as you'd hope it to be. So it, you're limited to boxy like shapes just because of the way the voxels work um, until I go through and show you the video of how to do it with circle shapes. But there you go. It's a pretty neat effect to create a very simple, um, really nice dense fog that you want to use. And obviously you can change its opacity and things like that by messing around with the material. And I so say we're just using white here. So the color from the lights are lighting it up nicely. So we've got the nice orange light lighting up. Um, but yeah, we can go into that material and, and tweak that as you wish really. So if you wanted to um, mess about with extinction, you can do. Let's change that value to 0 0.5, for example. Show you what that does. So you can see it's less thick. Okay. Um, in fact, it's almost gone completely in this case. Um, so you can tweak around with that number there. Get different value, different effects. 0 0.8. Yeah. So as extinction, I think it's based upon distance, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. It kicked in a shader stink pile, yeah. So yeah, it just changes the thickness of it, basically. Um, let's change it back down to 0 0.2. 0 0.3. And... Wait for it to kick in. Let's just push play actually. It might be a better way of doing it. There you go. So it's point three. It's less thick. We can see the floor a bit now. Um yeah, it's a good good effect. But there you go. If you like this how-to and want to see more how-to videos in the future, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. We can find all my videos early before everyone else from just one dollar a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. And I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.